So, we were discussing the power series sigma a n z minus z naught to the power n n is 0 to infinity that was the power series and we have seen that uh, this power series convergence behavior of the power series depends on the coefficients. So, for variable z, z is variable once you fix up the z then it becomes a power series okay, where all the results ratio test comparison test can be applied over this. So, if you use those representation then we will we have seen that the power series uh, there are power series which converges only at a singleton point that is z naught itself or it will converge throughout the uh, entire domain or there are some series which converge inside a disk and diverges outside. So, basically the behavior of the convergence behavior of the power series that is uh, interstate and particularly those power series which behaves like then some in inside some disk it is converges and outside it diverges. So, we can identify a circle of the convergence so that all the points inside the circle we can say the series converges and the point which is outside of this diverges and this follows from the previous result which we have already discussed that if a series if this series with central z naught and converges at a point z 1 then it will converge at every point inside this z 1 and if it diverges at the point z 2 then it will converge it will diverge outside of this. So, this is the here it will die this is the point for diverging where the this is the point for convergent where the series converges then what we have seen is that all the points at inside this the series will converge while the point outside of this it will diverge. Now, if slowly if we keep on increasing the point this one point here here and there and reducing here then you will get one circle and that circle you can identify the circle. So, that when you take this circle mod z minus z naught say radius r if I take then we can say that uh, the set of all points uh, okay, the set of all points inside the circle mod z minus z naught less than r the series is convergent series converges the power series 1 power series 1 converges converges over the set of all points inside this circle and suppose and diverges for all point over the set all points where mod z minus z naught is greater than r. Okay? Then this mod z minus z naught equal to r this is known as the circle of convergence. Convergence okay? and r is called the radius of convergence. radius of convergence okay that is what we, we are interested okay now that we have seen that if r is the radius of the convergence then all the points inside the region mod z minus z not less than r the series will be convergent and the point outside of this region z minus z not greater than r those point will lie in this region will diverge what about the point on the boundary on the circumference? So, nothing can be said not a uh, we can say no general statement statements can be made made about the convergence of a power series. convergence of the power series 1 of power series 1 
convergence of the Poisson on the circumference circumference of the uh, on the circle of on the circle of the convergence in instead of circumference let us write circle of convergence it means the behavior of the power series over the circle of convergence over the circle of convergence varies there are the power series which may not converge at any point inside over this uh, circle of convergence there are the series where it converges at every point on the circumference convergence or maybe a series which converges uh, only at few point and nowhere else so let us see the behavior of behavior of uh, the convergence of the power series or behavior of the power series power series on the circle of convergence convergence of power series on the circle of convergence mod z minus so behavior of the power series don't behavior of power series in on circle of convergence so let us take the few examples suppose i take the example here uh, let r becomes 1 let us choose r equal to 1 and z not equal to say 0 so with central 0 and radius 1 so let us draw the uh, uh, consider the power series sigma z to the power n over n square n is from of course 1 to infinity because otherwise it is not defined 1 to infinity now obviously this series this series is convergent convergent in fact absolutely convergent inside the circle mod z less than 1 mod z less than 1 because and diverges and diverges for mod z greater than 1 the reason is because if you use the ratio test then what is the ratio uh, uh, ratio test says that um, un plus 1 over un that is n plus 1 by n whole square into z mod z this is the un plus 1 over un this limit as n tends to infinity is mod z this is the ratio test uh, say un plus 1 over un un is stands for unz stands for this function we are the unz is z to the power n over n square this is our unz z square okay so if you apply the ratio test then you are getting limiting value to be this now if this is less than 1 clearly if mod z less than 1 series converges greater than 1 series diverges and equal to 1 test fails ok so let us see that uh, series where it comes so suppose I take choose z equal to e to the power i theta ok now e to the power i theta where the theta lying between 0 and 2 pi one side is ok 2 pi so it is a point lying on the circumference of the circle centered at 0 with the radius 1 these are all points we will cover so what will be our un the un becomes unz this becomes z means e to the power n i theta by n square ok now this mode of this thing mode of this thing is dominated by 1 by n square and 1 by n square sigma is finite since sigma 1 by n square 1 to infinity is a convergent series 
So, this is each term of the uh, this series is dominated by a non negative real numbers where the series is convergent. So, by comparison test, so by comparison test, we can say that the series this z to the power n over n square 1 to infinity converges absolutely for all z z lying on the circumference mod z equal to 1 or satisfying the condition this. It means this series converges everywhere on the circle of convergence. So, so the series converges everywhere absolutely absolutely everywhere on the circle of convergence convergence that is mod z equal to 1 ok. So, this will be now let us take another example this is the example 1 let us take the other examples Uh, choose the z to the power n by n 1 to infinity. Now, if you look this say then obviously, this series converges for all z mod less than than 1 diverges for all z which satisfying this condition mod z greater than 1 and for 1 when z is equal to 1 it is harmonic series harmonic series so diverges while z equal to minus 1 it is alternating series alternating alternating series so by leibniz test the series converges So, what we can say here that it converges at minus 1, but diverges at 1. It means the points where it converges and diverges. Okay. Then third case is hmm, 1 and minus 1 it converges and diverges. Okay. Similarly, i n minus i also you can establish the similar things for it. Okay. So, diverge. Now, if we look the sigma z to the power n 1 to infinity all 0 to infinity, then it diverges everywhere why because what is the coefficient a n a n is 1 and that does not go to 0 as n tends to infinity and in fact what we happen is is non zero term and there is one term if the sigma u n z to the power is there and if all the terms are non negative uh, negative and the cof this does not go to 0 any term must go to 0 so here the z n a n is 1 of course so, when you take the mod n or you can choose the like this uh, say edge, uh, z equal to 1 it will diverge z equal to minus whatever may be mod z it will always be 1. Okay? So, it will diverge everywhere in the complex plane okay? because this follows from the real. a series whose n term must go to 0, but n term will not go to 0 because it is a okay? so it diverges. So, what we see here there is a uh, series whose convergence on the circumference convergence is granted everywhere. There are series which converge only at few point, but nowhere else and the series which converges uh, which uh, nowhere convergent. So, the behavior of the series power series on the circle of convergence is not definitely cannot be definitely said it depends on the series. Okay? So, this is what uh, we cannot say anything about coming. Now, as we have seen that this convergence and the divergence of the series totally depends on the coefficients. So, why do not we have a lizards or formula which depends only on the coefficients and but capable of identifying the given series to be convergent or divergence. Okay? So, that will also give the 
formula for the radius of convergence so that you can find the region of the convergence where the series converges and the other region where it diverges okay so let's see the result which is in the form of the theorem the result is about the radius of convergence and we denote this by r okay <coughs> suppose that the sequence n converges with the limit okay let sigma a n say z minus z naught to the power n n is 0 to infinity we are given power series power series in z minus z naught in z minus in the power of z minus z naught with centered with center z naught okay and let us suppose let limit of this limit of mod a n plus 1 over a n as n tends to infinity is suppose this limit exists and suppose l star exists and say it is l star ok that is with the, now if the result is so what this says is that if L star, uh, if L star is uh, 0, if L star is 0, then the radius of convergence R will be infinity, okay. And the power series converges, so the power series. converges converges uh, at every point for all z for all z in a complex plane c if l star is not zero if l star is not zero then we can in define the radius of then the radius of convergence r is nothing but 1 by l star and that is equal to limit of this as n tends to infinity mod of a n over a n plus 1 that is. Now, if third case if our if if mod of a n plus 1 over a n if mod of a n plus a n tends to infinity then the radius of convergence r will be 0 that is converges only at the center that is power series converges only at the center z naught. So, this is the result and this result is given by Cauchy Hadamard. So, it is also known as the Cauchy Hadamard theorem. Cauchy Hadamard formula or you can say Cauchy Hadamard formula. This is also known as Cauchy Hadamard formula. Okay. <laughs> let us see the proof of this. Proof is simple. What is given is given the power series sigma a n z minus z naught to the power n 0 to infinity with center z naught z naught in the power of z minus z. Now, use the ratio test. So, if we take the ratio say u n plus 1 over u n that is a n plus 1 z minus z naught to the power n plus 1 over a n z minus z naught to the power n this u n this is equal to what mod of a n plus 1 over a n into mod z minus z naught but it is given the limit of this exists. So, if we take the limit of this 
as n tends to infinity this is equivalent to the limit of this as n tends to infinity mod z minus z naught is is free from n so basically it is equal to l star mod z minus z naught okay now if l star is zero is it not if l star is zero case one if l star is zero it means this ratio test is strictly less than one so by ratio test the series the power series converges everywhere is it not so less than one so this series converges everywhere in the complex plane complex plane that is the radius of convergence r radius of convergence will be equal to infinity r becomes infinity because it converges everywhere in the complex plane okay and if l is l star is not zero then let us write it this is suppose l then let l is equal to l star mod z minus z naught okay now if this is is two cases either this will be less than one or greater than one so if it is less than one then convergent converge convergent if it is greater than one then diverging okay so then it implies then greater than one divergent that is mod z minus z naught mod z minus z naught this is strictly less than 1 by l star then the power series the power series converges and if it is greater than 1 by l star if it is greater than 1 by l star then the series diverges series diverges okay so this convergence so it means if i take it 1 by l choose 1 by l star as r radius of convergence so this is the circle of convergence that is with radius r so circle of convergence with radius r means mod z minus z naught equal to r and then what we are getting is that if r becomes 1 by l star okay so r uh, l is uh, 1 by r that is formula is this is it not l star is what this so from here we get <coughs> 1 by r is equal to l star that is equal to limit as n tends to infinity mod n plus 1 over mod n where r is the radius of convergence so this shows it okay so this proves that convergence so series converges inside them now what happens if the l star is does not exist it goes to infinity if it l star goes to infinity is infinity then r becomes zero so in that case the series is at converging only at the center that is all so that is the this greater than or sufficiently large so implied series diverges for all uh, l star is infinity is it not so what what do you mean with this will be uh, l star is infinity this part l star is this okay so this is infinity so we are getting what mod of z minus z naught this is basically the terms are greater than 1 is it not both mod of an plus 1 so this shows uh, this shows that mod of an plus 1 is greater than mod of an is it not that terms will keep on increasing keep on increasing so the series diverges at uh, every point so all is 0 means the series diverges at all points except 0 except z naught that is all there is no point ratio test ok imply divergence because this entire thing is greater than 1 if it is greater than 1 
then we get this diverge okay so i list up clear so this holds there now take some example then it's okay let's take it uh, suppose i take this series find the radius of convergence of this series series say sigma uh, minus 1 to the power n z n over say uh, minus 1 to the power n z n um, maybe z minus z cube so 0 to infinity 1 minus z square ok so this will be the equal to uh, factorial n or minus 1 you outside uh, 1 1 minus or let it be without 1 ok let us take this only suppose I take this series ok then what happen is mod a n plus 1 over a n this is equal to what mod a n plus 1 is factorial n factorial n plus 1 mod of this mod of this and limit of this as n tends to infinity is the same as limit of this as n tends to infinity which is nothing but what 0. So, what R L star is 0 L star is 0 means R becomes 1. So, this is our L star. So, series converges everywhere ok like this. Similarly, we can go for others. Now, if you take a, uh, some point suppose uh, another example if I choose say discuss the powers radius of convergence of the find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma factorial 2 n over factorial n square z minus 3 i to the power n n is 0 to infinity. Suppose I take this ok. Now, here this is a power series centered at center is 3 i ok 3 i. So, let us find out the first radius of convergence. So, what is our a n? A n becomes factorial 2 n over factorial n square. So, a n plus 1 is factorial 2 n plus 1 over factorial n plus 1 whole square. So, a n o plus 1 over a n or a n over a n plus 1 direct the radius of convergence limit of this as n tends to infinity. So, what will the radius of convergence is a n over n plus if I complete it then this comes out to be what and basically just you find a 1 by 4 ok limit will come out to be 1 by 4 using the factorial values and other it means that is radius of convergence r is 4. So, the series converges series converges inside the mod z minus 3 i less than r and that will be the uh, this is 1 by 4 sorry this is 1 by r this is r. So, radius of convergence is 1 by 4 so 1 by ok. So, this will be the answer. So, this way we can go. Now, in case if the limit does not exist then we will choose the makes limit superior of this uh, note. If the limit of this mod a n over a n plus 1 as n tends to infinity, if this limit does not exist, does not exist, okay, then you find out the limit superior, then choose limit superior of this, okay. So, if uh, uh, that is n plus 1 over n, if limit does not exist, then choose the uh, upper um, part of it ok like this. Then choose the limit superior. Similarly, for other case uh, same results is uh, another result is for the ratio test same uh, nth root test test the radius of convergence r convergence r uh, having the formula 1 by alpha is limit 
mod n to the power 1 by n as n tends to infinity or if limit exists or limit superior as n tends to infinity mod n to the power 1 if limit does not exist exist but finite values means it should not be infinity okay otherwise that means various limits are okay, okay so here this is the power series the power series sigma a n z minus z naught to the power n 0 to infinity has radius of convergence r where 1 by r is given by this formula has radius of convergence r where 1 by r is given this one okay so this will be zero. so for example if we take this function uh, if it's series find the radius of convergence of the series of the power series series sigma 1 plus minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by 2 to the power n then z to the power n and this 0 to infinity. Now, if we look the series, what are the ans? n are 1 plus minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by 2 n. If we look this series, then mod n to the power 1 by n, it does not go to because this limit will tends to always half. So, clearly for odd when n is odd, n is odd, then uh, this then mod of n to the power 1 by n, this will go to half when n is odd because it becomes uh, minus. So, this will be 0 and power half it, but when n is even, when n is even, the limit will come out to be what? 2 plus 1 by 2n power 1 by n as n tends to infinity. So, it will go to 1. Okay. So, limit will be half and 2. So, what is the limit superior? Limit superior of mod n to the power 1 by n is 1. Therefore, radius of convergence will be 1 by r is the limit superior mod n to the power 1 by n that is 1. So, r becomes 1 that will be the answer. Okay? So, we can find out the corresponding. Now, next up, uh, you know, we have a different uh, difference between the function series of the real variable and series of the complex variable. The major difference is here. In case of the series of real variable, when the series converges, we have a function f x okay? and the power series converges, we have a function f x which is continuous we can find out the derivative of it suppose, but after that we cannot say the further derivative is possible, but here in case of the function of complex variable the power series if it is convergent it will represent a function f z which is not only analytic in the region of the convergence, but is all our derivative will also be analytic. So, this will be justified in the following discussion. Okay. So, let us see the functions given by power series. Okay. Power series. <coughs> so, this is what uh, now when we have a power series sigma <coughs> sorry z minus z naught to the power n 0 to infinity. Let this power series have has radius of convergence say r say r. It means inside the circle z minus z naught less than r the series converges. Okay. So, once it converges then for each z 
it will represent the sum function. So, the sum the sum of this series we denoted by f z. Okay? So, sum is denoted by f z which is a function of z. It means, when we say f z equal to sigma n z to the power n. So, therefore, f z will be 0 to infinity z minus z naught to the power n in for all z in the belongs to the region z minus z naught less than r. In this, thus it will represent a it will converge and represent a function f z. Now, what the result says is the result is the function f z the function f z given by 1 given by say 1 in the circle mod z uh, I am just say, saying mod z less than r choosing z naught to be 0 particular case okay, choosing let a, for simplicity. Okay. This is for simply we can choose also given by 1 is less than r or even z minus z naught also we can choose. Okay. So, equivalently uh, z naught is 0 fine is less than r with r positive with r positive is a continuous function at z equal to 0. It means the function f z sigma n z to the power n 0 to infinity given by 1 in z mod z less than bar is a continuous function in this. Okay. So, let us see how this prove. Once we prove the continuity then all, all the things will come easily. Uh, now, if we take z equal to the function the series is giving f z a sigma a n z to the power n 0 to infinity for z lying between uh, mod z less than r. Okay. So, if we take z equal to 0, it means f of 0 is a 0. So, if I prove required to prove is the limit of the function f z when z tends to 0 is f of 0. This is to be proved. It means for any epsilon r greater than 0, if we find the delta such that when mod z less than delta implies mod f z minus a 0 is less than epsilon r, then our result is okay. Okay, Then its continuity follows for the. Okay. Now, since the series, since okay, now since the series sigma and z to the power n 0 to infinity will converge absolutely or converges absolutely inside the circle in mod z less than or equal to r, where r for any r is strictly get less than r, because this was already shown the series is not only convergent, it converges absolutely. So, converges absolutely everywhere inside a circle. Okay. So, we take the circular disk with the radius small which is strictly less than r. Okay. This is true. Then, so the series, the series sigma mod n r to the power n minus 1, this n is 1 to infinity, this is nothing but 1 by r sigma n is 1 to infinity mod n r to the power n with r greater than 0. Now, this series is convergent. So, this is convergent, converges. Okay. Let the sum be s, let the sum be is s which is different from 0 because it is non negative terms okay, different from 0. Okay. Now, for then for 0 less than mod z less than equal to r the difference of this 
mod of fz minus s which is equal to sigma a n z to the power n and n is 1 to infinity and that will be equal to less than equal to mod z sigma mod n mod z to the power n minus 1 1 to infinity and that that is again less than equal to mod z because mod z less than equal to r sigma mod n r to the power n minus 1 1 to infinity but this is our what s because this difference is is total is s some we are taking to be s so this is what uh, uh, is equal to mod of z or less than equal to this part is less than equal to mod z into s but what this mod of z less than epsilon if i choose this to be less than epsilon then we can get del del delta to be this so if this is less than epsilon then this implies that mod z is less than epsilon by s which is nothing but delta so the function f is continuous at 0 okay this proves that and immediately this result will give that uh, another result which is also the result is the two power series suppose suppose uh, that the power series power series sigma n z to the power n and sigma v n z to the power n 0 to infinity 0 to infinity if have both converges both converges for mod z less than r where r is positive where r is positive then and have the same sum and have the same sum have the same sum for all these z all these z then thus this series this series uh, then this series are identical identical that is n is equal to b n for n 1 2 3 and so on in fact 0 also 0 1 2 3 and so on hence if the function f z has a power series represented with the center that is represent hence the representation of the function f in the form of power series sigma n z minus z naught to the power n around the point z naught around the point z naught is unique. So, that goes well with the help of this previous result just you can find out it means if a function f is given then and z naught is fixed then we can have a unique representation of the power uh, function in terms of the power series. So, that is interesting result and proof follows. So, I will just skip that proof then there are a few results uh, and again I am saying in the form of theorem that differentiation of the power series and the first result said the drive series the drive series of a power series of a power series has the same radius of convergence convergence as the original series original series it means if the series suppose a series is given sigma n z minus z naught 
to the power this n is 0 to u. This is a series represented by a function f z and this series has a radius of convergence r then the drive series of this means f prime z when you take the drive series will be equal to n is 1 to infinity 1 to infinity uh, n a n z n minus 1 that is equal to a 1 plus 2 a 2 z and so on this is also a power series will have the same radius of convergence that is r the reason is because if we apply this uh, ratio test for the power series 2 then what happened the n plus 1 over n plus 1 so n plus 1 all mm, uh, what is the ratio do not go for the ratio test just uh, you ok uh, n plus 1 a n plus 1 over n a n this is our term is it not. So, if you get for the limit of this uh, ok uh, now this is our um, n at n minus 1. So, n at term will be equal to n plus 1 a n plus 1 ok and this is uh, the n minus 1 at term. So, we can say this is equal to a n is a reverse way is it not. So, we can get the drive series will be um, n plus ok. So, u n plus 1 limit of this n plus 1 n n ok t k. So, limit of this mode of this as n tends to infinity is the same as limit of this is 1. So, it is the limit of mod n plus 1 why n mm, why it is the n term will be n plus 1. So, it is n plus 1 and this is below ok is ok. So, you will get the n minus 1 term n minus 1 is ok. Now, there is no problem ok n plus 1 and then mm, n plus 1 in there. So, this is the same as this. So, it will be the same as n plus 1 in there because this limit is 1. So, we get this it means this is nothing but the 1 by r. So, it is the 1 by r it means that it will have the same drive. Similarly, for the uh, second part the integration the power series integration. If we integrate the whole power series the integrated power series power series that is equal to sigma n is 0 to infinity a n over n plus 1 z n plus 1 this is the integrated power series that is a naught z a 1 by 2 z square and so on by integrating term by term has by integrating obtained by integrating term by term term by term the original series. original series that is sigma a n z to the power n 0 to infinity original series has the same radius radius of convergence as the original series here as the original series. is the original series ok. So, we get this one original series clear. Now, the reason is again simple because if you go for the n a term by divided by n a term again you will get the similar things. So, it will follow from here. Then third is if suppose we have the two power series say f 1 z is one power series <coughs> a n z n 0 to infinity having radius of convergence r 1 another power series having 
radius of convergence r to r 2 and if I add these two series b n sorry this is b n. If I take a n plus b n z to the power n 0 to infinity then the radius of convergence convergence of the sum of the two power series that will be equal to uh, powers with radius of convergence and convergence r 1 it is a power series radius uh, uh, smaller of r 1 and r 2 has uh, the radius of convergence of this power series will be the smaller of r 1 and r 2 will be one of them one of them that which is smaller than smaller of r 1 and r 2. So, that is the result which we have ok. Then lastly we have one theorem without proof of course. So, that result is shows that every power series represents a function a power series that is the analytic functions. Okay, and their derivative. A power series, a power series with a non-zero radius of convergence, with a non-zero radius of convergence. A power series with a non-zero radius of convergence R represents represents an analytic function analytic function at every point at every point integral to its circle of convergence circle of convergence. The derivative of this function derivative of this function are obtained by differentiating the original series differentiating differentiating by differentiating the original series original series term by term term by term all the series thus obtained thus obtained have the same radius of convergence. same radius of convergence this as the original series original series as the original series. Hence, the first student each of them represents hence each of them represents an analytic function analytic function. So, this is the best result which we are interested that a power series with a non radius of convergence r represents an analytic function at every point. And since the derived series will also be a represents a power series with the same radius of convergence. So, derived series will also represent a function which is analytic. Hence, all such derivatives of the function which is represented by a power series are basically analytic and all its derivative are also done. and that is what this is. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks.